Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Noise, and welcome back to... Wow, I almost said Project Ozone. I have that on my mind. Um, welcome back to Sky Factory 2.5. Uh, wrong series. Um, last time, we set up this nifty little system, um, which will collect all of the well, Batania flowers if I turn my magnet off. And uh, it automatically does it. It will automatically dispense water every once in a while. And we did that with the RF tool sequencer. And then we did a whole bunch of other stuff with RF tools. Uh, namely, we started making, uh, we made two new machines, the dimlet scrambler and the machine infuser. And we've been trying to figure out a way to get better dimlets. Um, we need, okay, so the two dimlets that I'm after is the Dragon Dimlet and the Draconium Ore Dimlet. Both of those are Rarity 6. Uh, we made the Dimlet Scrambler to try to recycle some of our older Dimlets um, to get better ones. Uh, if you put three Dimlets in here of um, yeah, lesser quality, you can get a better quality one. But it's better if the machine is infused, which is why we made this. But we need Dimensional Shards for that. Dimension sh dimensional Shard Ore is also a... Uh, dimlet that we can get but we haven't found it yet so i went to a whole bunch of houses i picked up some order shards and some diamonds um i know diamonds is something that we could use more of um and order shards might as well uh i don't remember the best way to get those but i guess we have a decent amount uh i found some so i figured i'd pick it up uh now i have a lot of dimlets including a lot of unknown dimlets uh, and then I have three more here that I already scanned a set of um, that I thought was interesting. So we got a block of redstone dimlet and glowstone. Both of those are rarity fours. Uh, and then molten adamantine. Um, so here's the thing about this. Molten adamantine is not actually used in this mod pack. Um, there's nothing that you can do with this stuff. Uh, it's just kind of a pretty red fluid. So... This dimlet is completely and utterly useless, so we can use it for other things. Um, so, uh, I don't know if we had anything else, so we have those, Patreon stuff, more Witch's Brew, Absorption 2, that's a Rarity 5, that's something we could get rid of if we wanted to. Um, Jungle Hills, Sky Normal, yeah, most of these aren't that great. Um, I had to leave some behind, Saturation 2, Rarity 5. Um, I, had, I had to leave some digit dimlets behind, uh, just because my inventory was full, but eh, whatever. Those aren't that important. Um, we also had some other ones that we'll look at. Um, so, nothing that good here. Order Infuse Stone, uh, that's a high level, and that's also, that's how you get the Ordo Shards. Uh, Obsidian. Uh, light blue, lime, yeah, most of those aren't very good. Uh, we have another, uh, we have redstone ore, that's a rarity three. Um, there was another material, fire infused stone, that's for the fire shards. Um, so those are all good. And I didn't look at all of these, so I don't know what all we have, to be honest. Uh, mob default, uh, molten terra steel, uh, yes, that is one I would like, very much so. Uh, we're going to make a template of Molten Terra Steel, and we're going to get a bunch of Terra Steel. Because I believe if we take the Molten ter Terra Steel, uh, we should be able to cast that out. Yeah, we can cast that out very easily. Um, so yeah, we're using that one. Um, I, like I said, I haven't looked at all these. These are all the sky colors. I don't care about those. Weather, no thunder, structure, none. That's craftable, though. It's a rarity three, but it's craftable. Uh, so it's not as good. We can't use craftable stuff in this guy. Um, some features. Don't really care about those. Resistance 2. Rarity 5. Don't really need that. So that's something we could also get rid of. Um, Alright, so all of those can go in here. And then we have the liquids left to look at. What do we have? Hollow Tears. Don't care. Flux Goo. No, don't want that. Blue Slime. And Dark Steel. Dark Steel, that's actually kind of nice um, I don't know that we're gonna use that because I don't think we need all that much dark steel um, I mean dark steel is useful stuff uh, we could use it to make a lot of reinforced obsidian 
Uh, you know what? Let's put it in here. Uh, we might use that and cast out like we did with the plutonium and all that fun stuff. So we have how many? Oh my god, we have a lot of stacks of these unknown dimlets. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and scan them. See if we get anything good. Mushroom island biomes. Yeah. So, um, actually what I'll probably do, coal ore, that's not bad. Um, what we could probably do is let's grab a hopper. Actually, this hopper will do. And just put that in the front and do something like this. Cool, so we'll come back to that in just a little bit, uh, and then we can always come down here and see what all we have that is good. Um, we want rarity fours and above is what we're looking for. We have two obsidian ones. Yeah, I'm probably not going to use that one. Um, so I grabbed my ender pouch for that. Um, so let's see, what can we do in the meantime? So one of the big things that I want to work towards today, I actually don't know. Um, it all depends on what dimlets we get. And I put a bucket away. Uh, so let's grab our bucket back. Uh, you know, it all depends on what kind of stuff we can get. Um, I wouldn't mind making that Terra Steel. That would be really nice. We'll do that another time when we're ready to start doing stuff with Terra Steel. That makes this guy completely and utterly useless. Uh, we don't need it anymore. So that's really nice. Uh, let's see. So I was looking at a lot of the stuff, and last time we also made uh, this guy. We made a resident igneous extruder who is solely making cobblestone for us, and we have... This hasn't been running that long. I don't know that... Oh, no, these are chunk-loaded. Cool. So this will run no matter where I'm at. Uh, we have two quintuples. Uh, let's see how bad it is to make the portal of the deep dark. Um, I don't remember what this takes. It takes unstable ingots, quadruple, and a quintuple. Uh, we can afford that. So I don't know why there's two recipes, but there. It, oh, those are the Mobius stable unstable. Okay. Um, so we could do. Okay. Here's the here's the thing. We don't have that many diamonds. We have 105 diamonds. Uh, now there is diamond ore stuff. There's blocks of diamonds. We could get a dimlet of nothing but blocks of diamond. But that's not that's not really that great. Uh, diamond essence. Uh, we can make diamond seeds. Those aren't bad. Um, it's just kind of deciding. I don't really want to have the stress of making the deep dark portal. Um, now we could also do the Mobius stable on stable ingots. Uh, those are a little bit easier to get, um, but it requires a pretty big uh, ritual. So uh, the division sigil can be activated, and then there's a much more complicated. So it is, uh, what is it called? The um, stable pseudo inversion sigil. Um, if you feel up to it, sneak right click on a vanilla beacon with an activated division sigil to begin. So it tells you what you need to do. So do we have any beacons? Can we make one? No, we don't have any nether stars. Um, I don't think we ever had a beacon. So something we could look into is wither skulls. Uh, what's the best way to get these? I mean, there's Weather Essence. That is Zavisio level stuff. Um, I know what we can work towards. How bad is it to make the Mob Grinder? That requires Awakened Draconium, uh, which I believe we have a little bit of. Um, what do we have? We have the Awakened Draconium. We need a Generator. That's going to require a Draconic Core, and we need a Wyvern Core. That's going to require another star. Ew. Um... Yeah, so I don't know what we're going to do. We'll figure something out here soon. Uh, let's see if we have anything good. So, yellowite. We have some more glowstone, obsidian stuff. Uh, let's take 
some of these threes. That's craftable. We can't we can't use craftable stuff. Coal ore. Uh, and let's scramble these and see if we get anything good. Nope, not at all. Um. So let's see what's in this book. Um, we need to get an ender quarry. That might be something good to go for. So let's just, let's start making ender quarry today. Um. So we have. We've made the endothermic pump before. Um, we need to make an ender quarry for a couple of different reasons. Um, how much of this stuff do we have? Not much. So we need some ender cores. This should not be that bad. We need more ender infused obsidian. Let's get like two recipes of that. Uh, the ender cores, we have not enough magical wood. So do we have any enchanted books? We have four protection too. Um, do we have any bookcases? Nope. And I doubt we can make them because we don't have any books. We need more paper. Ah, uh, of course. Um, so we're going to make some enchanted books. We're going to make some magic wood. Uh, we're going to make the uh, ender quarry. And that is used for a couple of the different achievement quest type stuff. Um, so how many books? Two. I need one more, don't I? Yep, okay. Um, so we gotta make more paper. Alright, so we have just enough. So there's the bookshelf. And then we're gonna need a little bit of gold. I believe it's like this. I think I can do it in the AE system. I hope so. Yeah, there's four magical wood. And then we can get back to the golden ender quarry. Yes, the ender quarry. Um, this guy requires, we need one more of these, um, we need two endothermic pumps, uh, so let's see, we need buckets, uh, we're gonna need another bucket of water, uh, lava, and then two of water, shouldn't be too bad, um, and we're gonna need more stuff of the uh, the the ender infused obsidian we're gonna need two more sets of that so we should be able to make this once we get we're gonna need a diamond pickaxe and then we're gonna need two iron pickaxes and yeah we should be almost there we need two of these guys and all we need now is the diamond etched Thing, which requires some quartz. Let's see, we're gonna need 16. Um, so we'll just take this down here, get this melted up, and we should be able to make our uh, ender quarry. So why make an ender quarry? Well, um, It's used for a couple things, but it's also really good to get resources. Um, let's see, we are going to need quarry. This guy. So uh, we need one more. Ah, <sighs> takes so much stuff. Oh well, ender quarry. There we go. Finally. Uh, I don't know if that is a quest at all. Let's find out. Um, hatch. Nope. Craft use an ender quarry. So we did that. Yay! We've com technically completed the Age of Machines. Uh, we've crafted an ender quarry. Uh, we haven't used it yet, but we will. Uh, I'm going to put it in there for now. Uh, and then once we get to the deep dark, we will kind of mine out the deep dark. So this should be done by now. It is. Alright, did we get anything good? Saturation. Nope. Molten lead. Uh, we have a bunch of these guys, but not much else. Um, so let's see, do we have any more dimlets over here? We do, we have almost a stack. Um, that is from our ender farm in the end, so, um, that kind of stuff. It takes a while, but, um, what was that? Liquid something, I don't know that it was that good. Liquid rocket fuel... 
Yellowium. We can get so much stuff. Um, most of it's not that useful to us, though. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I'm going to have to go explore some more Dimlets. Um, more Netherrack. All right, so let's take this out. Let's put that in there. And uh, let's see... How uh, I, I really need to get the uh, uh, division sigil. So I need to take this guy, and I either need to upgrade him or make unstable ingots. Uh, we need four of these. So that is 36 of these. I could make 36 of those. Um, how much gold? Let's just make 40. So uh, these you can craft in um, A systems. They don't have to be in anything. They are semi-stable, so they're expensive on diamonds. But I think I think I'm gonna go for it. Um, let's get 36 of these because I don't want to deal with explosions. So these are a lot better. Um, we just need 36, and then we can make four unstable stable ingots. Uh, so these are slightly different than the unstable, um, the Mobius stable unstable ingots, but still basic principle. Uh, we just need to get uh, one of these, and actually, which this is quintuple, and then four of these. One, two, three, four. And we should be able to make the portal to the deep dark. So put that there. And there we go, for the deep dark. Now this I'm going to go ahead and place right here. Uh, and much like this guy, I think you just right click it. And we are now in the deep dark. Um, now this is an actual solid place. Um, however, darkness hurts. Um, so let's down here. Uh, yeah, you don't want to be in the darkness all that long or you'll start taking damage. And yeah, there's actual like ground. But should be able to kill these guys pretty easily. As you can see, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff here. Um And pretty much what we need to do here is mine. Um, if we set up a little bit of a perimeter, we could get a nice little area. I need to kind of mark this hole, to be honest. Um, I need to mark something up here. Whether it's the the hole to get back up here or just the uh, the portal, um, so the deep dark, like I said, uh, it's not the best of areas to be in because you do take damage in the darkness, and we're out of torches. That's not good. But um, if you dig down. Uh, it's got normal ore generation, so um, let's head home for the time being, and we'll get some more torches. And what we can do is we can set up the ender quarry here. Um, all right, click on the portal. That's how you get back. Uh, so we can set up our ender quarry there and start getting a lot of stuff. Now, something else that I kind of forget about, honestly, is this guy. This guy has been collecting a lot of stuff for us, um, kind of in the background for quite a while. Uh, so I need to eventually process all these ores and all that kind of stuff, but we'll get there. Um, so, yeah, let's see. We have anything good here? Not really. Um, the big thing that I need to do is get the infusion. Um, I need to infuse this machine. So let's actually pick this guy up, put him in here, and let's grab as many dimensional shards as I have. 
and we can at least infuse him a little bit. 4%. Yeah, we need a lot more. Um, so what I think I want to do is go ahead, we're going to get stuff together uh, to go get Terra Steel and uh, let's put this back on. We need some more torches. Um, and that wasn't very good. Um, can you use like slime balls? No, probably not. Uh, so let's just get a bunch of torches. And I'll throw a bunch of these in here. That stuff can go in there. We're also going to need a uh, drum. Um, I should really teach it how to make bedrockium drums. So let's do that real quick. Um, so first of all, we'll teach that that blocks of bedrock become bedrockium. Uh, and then we need to teach this cauldrons and the drum. So we should be able to just put all this stuff in here. So um, we're going to need a cauldron. And we're eventually going to need two of these, so might as well make them. And the cauldron. And there we go. So now we can auto request bedrockium drums. Um, so we're actually going to want two of these. And I will stick one in here for the dark steel later. Um, well, let's make another dimlet. So we have an empty dimlet here. We're going to want, um, let's see, feature, uh, let's see, orb. I guess I have to sort, I have to uh, say exactly what it is, but I think what I want is feature liquid orbs. We'll go here, put that there. Feature liquid orbs, this, there's a warning. Okay, uh, and then anything else that I want? No, let's call this um, Terra Steel Store. And creation cost, not too bad. Maintenance, everything's pretty, pretty nice. Uh, we can go ahead and dial it up. I named it. Uh, it should show up. Oh, it's still building it. It takes in a minute. So once it's built, there we go. Now we should see it. So that and Terra Steel dial once. Let's get this guy on our bar. Uh, and then what else do we need? We need a test rack. I forgot about that part. Because we have one here. This guy is uh, sending energy, receiving items. Do I have him like. I do have an item conduit on the back of them. Cool. So um, we're gonna need two tesseracts. So can we go ahead and make two of these guys? Um, get a little bit more hardened glass, and we can. Uh, so the reason why we want two of these, and we're gonna need ender pearls, and then. Yeah, two tesseracts. Um, we need to fill these with not that much. So fluid transposers. I think it's like that. Uh, so the reason why we want two tesseracts, uh, we're gonna keep one with our um, quarry when we decide to use it later. Um, so this will take a minute, but uh, basically once we get the tesseract. Uh, we'll set it up for energy and all that fun stuff. Let's go ahead and go to our dimension. And... Oh. Okay, now this is a really cool... This is really cool. Um, 
we have a lot of good stuff, including a lot of mine shafts. Uh, so let's go ahead, shift right click. We're gonna add new uh, Terra Steel commit, lock that. And let's go explore a mine shaft. Um, not getting any negative effects. There's these awesome uh, glowstone orbs as well. There's spawners. Uh, do we see any treasure? That's what I want to know. And I'm not up oh, there's some right here. Not really anything all that good. Um, plenty of cows. So yeah, that is really cool. And then we also have, uh, that looks like amber ore. Um, God, I love the random ones. But yeah, this is glowstone. And molten terror steel. Cool. Uh, so let's go home. Hopefully our stuff is done processing. It looks like it. We have two of these guys. Uh, so let's throw this stuff in here. And what we're going to want is the Tesseracts, one and two. Cool. So we should be able to put one in here. And I'm going to go ahead and configure this guy. So main power check, uh, receive only energy. Cool. And then we should be able to pick it up and head to the other planet uh, or to the other dimension rather I have some roast potatoes I do believe that'll be a good food source so let's head to Terra Steel and yeah did I break this one open I did cool so it's not destroying those but um, what we can do is just put this here uh, with the bedrockium drum on top of it and this guy here and we have a bunch of bedrockium now or uh, terra steel and uh, that I can then make into blocks and yeah that was that was quick uh, let's pick this up and we could do that to multiple um, Let's turn on our magnet for one, and we're going to, whoop, didn't use it all. So there's still some in there. Um, I wonder why I stopped. Oh, well, we've got a lot, so I don't really care too much. Uh, I just kind of want to see, there's other ores. This is copper ore. Um, let's fly around a little bit in here. And see if there's anything good. Because uh, we have copper. I wonder if it's just like the orange ores. Like, you know, like it, basically anything that you would get from uh, an orange lens on uh, uh, the, the mining laser. Because that's what it's looking like. Uh, but this is really cool. So... We have a lot of ores that we could get. And I always wondered, I want to see. Nope, that's still, the, the uh, slime islands aren't affected by it. Interesting. Okay, so not really seeing anything. I have noticed that these void worlds with like nothing uh, tend to not produce as many uh, dimlet houses. And the sun's sideways. Uh, they tend to not produce as many dimlet houses as the the tendril areas. I don't know what it is if there's a dimlet that I'm not seeing or something because I do make these worlds kind of my own. Like uh, I intentionally make them like this, but who knows? Uh, so let's yeah, this is just straight copper ore. That's really cool. Let's head back home. Uh, we have enough terra steel for now, so go back to the home base and it's raining we sleep awesome um 
So, yeah, um, no more dimensional shards, but we have test rack and all that. Molten Terra Steel, we can easily set up our, um, we can easily set up our, um, factory again with translocators, uh, with our liquid translocators, and the, actually, item nodes, uh, and then, what is it called? Casting basins. So we can easily do this thing again. Uh, let's get a chest. We have a few. <laughs> and we'll just do it like right here, because it won't take that long. Um, so, let's see. We're going to need a block here. And let's actually put the chest one up because that'll make things easier. It was accidentally changing where I was going. Uh, so we'll do this. I need to really get off of that before I hold shift. So we do this item node, item node, item node. And let's see, we're going to need another block. And I think I can do it like this, can't I? No, it has to be down one. That's fine. Um, no, it has to be up one. Or uh, these have to be somewhere else. Let's go ahead and put one there just so I can have something to hit. And we'll do this, 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 and this, and there we go. We have blocks of terra steel now. Um, I don't know if you guys remember how difficult it is to make terra steel because uh, we needed exactly one ingot for this guy. Uh, and it took, it takes a half a mana pool. That's a lot of mana. Uh, it takes forever to get. And we already have 24 blocks. And we'll have a lot more. So um, I think that's a good stopping point. Uh, we have Terra Steel now. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Uh, so I think between episodes, I might do a little bit more exploration. Uh, try to get some more dimensional shards. Um, I'll probably... Let's be honest, I'll probably come over here. We have so many of uh, these guys. Um, what I'll probably do is one of these. I want the rare treasure, actually. Uh, energetic alloy, I don't need. Jelly cryothium, I don't need. And I'll take the Ardite. And we'll take one more of here. And I don't really care about any of that stuff. So. I'll just do one of these, kind of cheat the system. Actually, I have to do it the other way, don't I? And yeah, hopefully I can get what we need. Uh, dimensional shards wise, that's going to be a really bad way to do it, but I can get a little bit more um, through these epic loot bags. It's just not really worth it. Uh, just because we're going to need so many. And I haven't got a single one yet. Um, yeah, so I'm going to spend some time probably going dimension hopping. Uh, before we go, I want to go ahead and open up the uh, rare treasure. Because some of the things you can get in those are really good. Spoilers, I've gotten nether stars from these before. And we didn't. Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, so, I'm going to end the episode off here. Next time, is this... That's still going. How many we have? Probably over a stack. We have over two stacks. Um, so, next time, hopefully I'll have the demlets ready to go um, to at least a couple of the things I want. Uh, whether, whether we get the demlet to go to the Dragon Age or... 
or Dragon Age, whether we can get a Dimlet for Dragons or Draconic, um, Draconium, we'll see. But otherwise, um, I don't know what we'll do. We'll figure something out. We need to get back into Thumbcraft and do more work with that. And yeah, just a lot of stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, it was fun. We have Terra Steel. We can get Dark Steel as well. I might do that off camera. Um, so yeah, that's empty. Let's, uh, I'm going to fix these. I'll, I'll get this taken care of, but we have almost three stacks of Terra Steel now. I don't think that's ever going to be a problem again. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!